I hope it's a trend. Um, but it's just hard to trust Kuz. Now, I did like Skip. The last time I saw him play against Sacramento, he played really well, and he played followed that up. But Without they're, LeBron. Without himself. LeBron. Yep. Um, and and, and <clears throat> But I think the thing is, what helps Kuzma if he's accepting of his role? Whether you come in, whether you start, or you come in off the bench, you have to be accepting a role. And, and I know it's hard because he sees guys that was in his draft, Skip. He sees what they're doing. He sees guys closing his age. He sees what Brandon Ingram's doing. He sees what Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown, and Donovan Mitchell's doing. But none of those guys have a LeBron James and an Anthony Davis no. on their team. So he needs to understand that. Look at Carmelo Anthony when he accepted his role and that, you know what, I'm coming off the bench. Mm -hmm. He never accepted that in OKC. He never really accepted his role. He wanted to be the guy that he was in New York and all these other places. He didn't accept his role at first in Portland. When he embraced that role, look at Melo now. Yeah. Kyle Kuzma. I mean, I mean, it can be sad on any given night that that, that used to be Melo. Yes. It used yeah. to be, but Skip, where he is now in his career, he's in a perfect role. Kyle Kuzma needs to understand, if I'm not scored, I can do other things to help this team win. He started crashing the boards. Yes. Five of his last six games, he's had at least 11 rebounds. That, that's just extraordinary. Right. I never thought I would see the day. But occasionally, you still make those plays. you like, Kuz, bruh. You, you, LeBron passing the ball, Skip, with three seconds on the clock. He dribbles it and passes it back. No, LeBron passing you. You had a wide over three. You faked the guy, and then you... <laughs> I'm like, I hope it's a trend. Because we got the news that Anthony Davis is going to be gone for another two weeks. So what? You talked about, well, they got a break. They played uh, Friday night, and they didn't play again until Monday. But guess what they got? They got Monday night, Tuesday night. Thursday night, Friday night, Sunday. You okay with that, Skip? Mm. They got five games in six days. You good with that, Skip? Well, after you got three weeks. Nah, you good with that now, Skip? You, you up there complaining. You don't call the commissioner. You don't call Adam Silver. What's going on with Braun? He's getting all the breaks. I can't have him win the MVP. Well, they're trying to hand him the MVP. Oh, my goodness. How they try to hand him the MVP, Skip? Well, now Joel Embiid's trying to hand him the What did LeBron do with that? <laughs> I told you availability. That's why I took yoke. But anyway, I like what I'm seeing, Skip. Hopefully, he can, hopefully. Hopefully, he can continue to play at this. Because what? Now we don't know Gasol's out. So the bench is going to, the guy's going to have to, going to have to play extremely well. He's going to have to get valuable minutes. He's going to have to give you, you know, 25. He's going to have to give you 30 minutes. They're going to bump that up. How many minutes did he play the other night? He played 30 minutes. Okay. You're going to give us 8 of 18? You're going to give us 11, 13 rebounds? Okay, I can live with that. Mm. I, I can live with 24 and 13. Yep. So... I have always, from the start, been a much bigger Kuzma fan than you are. Yes, you have. I have believed from the start he had a closer's mentality. He is a fearless shooter. Nothing seems to bother him. No shot is too big for him. He'll take it. I'm not saying he's going to make every one, but he shoots every one like he thinks he's made it. And this was, an ex speaking of extraordinary, uh, what a comeback this was. Mm -hmm. They're down eight to the Pacers at Staples. And, and the Pacers night. just beat the Suns. Just beat Blew the Suns. Blew them out. And, and Brogdon is, again, just out of his mind. You can't stop him. And it's not that you're not defending him, because they were. You just couldn't. You just right. was having one of those nights. Right. And I thought, man, you're, you're sunk at home again. Mm -hmm. You're going to lose yet another home game without Anthony Davis. And guess who showed up? Kyle Kuzma, he didn't just show up. He showed completely out. Yeah, he, he did. He scored 15 in the fourth quarter. 15 and had four more rebounds just in the fourth quarter alone. And all of a sudden, if we could see those two threes one more time that he made, he makes one with 6.33 to go. This finally gave them the lead. Just just shoots it. What about that pass? Without without that, how was that pass? Good pass. He, that's what about what he the does skip? Best. What about that right there? Okay, he shot that, and he starts just – dancing on his tiptoes because he knows it's good. And that gave them a four-point cushion at 558. So those two threes were the two turning points of that yeah. night. So I I've, I've felt for Kuz because when AD came, it's like he tried to become the third wheel right. to those two. And they didn't want any of it. They, they You could just tell by their body language, we're a duo, not a trio. And he had to figure out, I'm not the third wheel. I'm actually the sixth wheel because I'm going to be the first one off the bench. Yeah. 
and I'm going to have to do the, the dirty work. But see, Skip, that, that's a role that's best for him because guess what? One of those guys are going to be off the floor, so now you get more opportunities. You could that's, what, that's, that's the way he has to look at it, not like, man, I'm better than this. Man, I should be st – there are a lot of guys, Skip, that Jamal Crawford could have been a starter. Uh, Lou Williams could have been a starter. But he understood that I can be more of an asset in this role to this team than in a starring role. So he gets an opportunity to get shots because AD normally starts the, uh, uh, the second half, the second quarter on the bench. Yep. Or when LeBron – he's normally the first guy in for LeBron. So now he's going to get an opportunity to get his shots. Where if he's playing alongside AD and LeBron – Skip, you know – First, AD, uh, LeBron, uh, AD, AD, Bron, AD, Bron. Okay, uh, cool. You want one? Okay, we we'll give you one. That's how it works. But I love that he seems to embrace his role and realize, you know what? I don't just need to score 30 in order to help this team win. I can grab some rebounds. I can play defense. I still say he is your closer. Stop I've playing. said that for two years. It ain't true. And you won't hear it. It ain't true. Because well, it ain't true. He closed that one. Oh, Skip, you talking about one game. We don't play 40 games. He closed one. You talking about he the closer? They won't give him a chance. Give him a chance. He will continue to seize this opportunity. So, you let, so, so in other words, he going to be the closer in front of LeBron and AD. So, LeBron played nine minutes of that fourth quarter on yes. Friday night, and he scored a grand total of two points. And he did have four assists because Kuz helped him in that department. But he – took only two free throws, and he missed both of those, so he has two points, no free throws. Th there's no way you should win that game, and Kyle Kuzma scored 15 points. Kyle Kuzma hit those two threes and just took the game completely over from a hot team. That's who he is and what he can be and can do, but LeBron has to bless him. And he used a quote that I cannot – utter here on television <laughs> about how he was having, I'll just say, eye contact yep. with LeBron. Sort of, it, it, I'll, I'll go as far, it's like you're having eye flirting with yes. LeBron. Yeah, go yeah, far, yeah, okay? yeah, we're, yeah, we're a little further. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Thank yeah. You. A little further than that. <laughs> yeah. Is, I'd never heard that quote yeah. before. But but the point was, he was trying to tell LeBron, I got this. I Skip, got it. Just give me the ball. Does he just realize that LeBron's an octopus as far as eyes? Yep. He's like, a, he's like an insect. He got eight eyes. He does. He see you, bro. I, I give you that. You draw this, when you do it all this flailing away, mm -hmm. that's what happens. That's how sharks get you. You start flailing in the water on the surfboard. When they're in the paddleboard, shark look like that's an injured animal. Let me go take a bite out of it. Yep. What you do when you do all that flailing, you attract the defense. Don't do nothing. You can put your hands in your shorts. LeBron see you over there in the corner. LeBron has seen him for two years and wouldn't give him the basketball. For Cause he was, he was he was he was he was doing what he said he was doing. LeBron, that's what he been doing up. That's what yeah, he been doing. Okay. So we couldn't pass him the ball because he was messing it up. He's fearless. He he has no conscience and no memory. I need you to have some conscience. When we okay. down by when we down by three points, I don't need you come jacking up willy nilly shots. How about that, Skip? If LeBron would jack up his confidence and and make it. Uh, he on the he, team. I, I got it, but LeBron has never made it his his sort of mission in life. Y what's he doing with TNT, clutch client? Like, oh, he's special. He's not skip. You know, he say he he said it on several occasions. It seems like the game is slowing down for Kuz. He's he uh, he understands his role. He helped us to a championship. Skip, the greatest confidence LeBron can give you is you still on the team after the trade deadline yeah. the next season. That's the greatest compliment he can give you. I was hoping they would trade him because he would come back to haunt No, him. he wouldn't. And We're trading right now for Bradley Beal. Well, I'm sure uh, Yeah, we're trading well, right now for Bradley Beal. <laughs> yeah, okay, fine. I don't think the Wizards will do that. Give us Bradley Beal and let's see what happens. Yeah. We go head to head with the Nets. You want some of that? No, but you should want Kuzma to be your closer. No, Skip, he, stop he, saying he is that. Underutilized, huge asset. He is not underutilized. Yep. He's not the closer. How can you be a closer? Go James is the closer. And then comes AD because we've seen him close before. Nobody is closed. Skip, I mean, those buzzer beaters. Do, do, I, do I? Hey, Jim, do we got them buzzer beaters that my guy hit in the playoffs? Nobody's hit more in the playoffs. Nobody. Has hit more playoff buzzer beaters than Goat James. And nobody has remotely taken as many as Goat James. Jordan. It's ridiculous how many he's taken. Yeah, he's killed. You know why we got to take him? He's failed so many times. Because we've been to 10 finals. Do you know how many playoff games that is? Do, do you realize your man is the all-time worst at late-game free-throw shooting? He's just the worst. Any, any star. What we do, we don't let it come down to that. Mm.
Okay. We don't let it come down to that. Sometimes it's just going to come down to that. And I'd much rather have Kyle Kuzma taking that shot than LeBron taking that shot, especially if it's a free throw. Well, well, it ain't going to be a free throw because they probably ain't going to call it. They don't give us free throw calls. You okay. see how they be mugging LeBron out there, and they won't give us no calls. Well, he's still playing bully ball, and they're just saying, you're bigger and stronger than any of them. Just score it. No, no, you just told me. Just finish it. No, hold up. That's not what you said. You said, LeBron, go to the basket and I make him call the foul. He's doing that. Now you tell him, don't call the foul, just score the basketball. Well, some of them have that attitude, but he can still score it like crazy. He's still the best driver of the basketball I have ever seen and remains that to this moment. He's also the best basketball player. Mm. Uh, not that I've ever seen. Yeah, the best one you see it right. He the best one right now. He's the eighth best I've ever seen. Don't do that, Skip. Yep. Don't do that. Mm. That's so unbecoming of someone of your character. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you would actually do that. I, I, I will. I, I'll take the man you grew up loving the most over LeBron. No, right you now. won't. No, you won't. No, you won't. The other day. No, you won't. Larry Bird's better than LeBron. I don't know. And you want to talk about late game best? shooting and free throw? Lord Skip, Christ. everybody knows LeBron James is, is regarded universally as the great, greatest small forward ever. Mm. That's not, that's that. We don't even debate that. Mm. Now, we can debate the GOAT. You want to debate, you said he's not, I said he is. Now, we can debate the GOAT, but when it comes to small forwards, there is no debate. Was Bird a small forward or a big forward? He was a small forward. Mikhail okay. played the, played okay. the four. They all kind of played center. Well, what was Robert also. Parrish? They were kind of like twin <laughs> towers. Centers. Yeah, they, they had triple towers. Yep. <laughs> six, nine, six, ten, seven foot. Yep. All right, we got the Lakers on my mind. And Skip, you got a little Lakers purple going today. I like that color yeah, you know. on you. It, it works for yeah. you. It's all saying. for Kyle Kuzma. Okay, the all for what, what, Kuzma. Why are you put the flippers colors on? We're going to talk about the flippers a little later. Just a little later. <laughs> That's not why they're still in the basement. Discussion. Thank you for watching. You can subscribe here to get the latest from the show. And be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed. Or go watch a few other segments from our other shows on FS1.